I will be trading from nothing to something. As I don't have any experience, I will be starting my trading journey today from what I have in my inventory to a Tory. Now you might be wondering, how are you gonna do this? Are there any rules? There are really no rules. I can buy SP resets and I can buy dark roots. And I'll be trying to get anyway and I'll be grinding off stream to get, um, as an off stream but off video to get uh, their fruits to trade to actually get the Tory. And in this journey, there will be multiple parts and multiple parts of this video. So this is part one. And I mean, let's stop wasting time and let's get started. So the first thing I decided to do was I decided to go to the GPO trading hub on the Discord side. And I went and as you can see, a lot of people were trading and sending a lot of messages. And the first thing I did was I looked at my inventory and I was wondering what can I possibly trade? I mean, I have, you know, all these items but I don't know exactly what to trade. So I decided to ask people and most people rejected me when I was asking for to give them uh, my Bomu and my Gomu for their Karus and their uh, Musashi's Karutas. I was like, man, this is so hard. Everybody's declining my offers. And I was just, you know, sending them, sending them. And eventually I realized, eventually I realized because I'm new to trading and all, I asked that if I buy SP resets, I could theoretically get a couple of items without having an item and these are infinitely, they just depend on how much Robux you have and since I have a plenty of Robux, I could use some of that because I really don't use the, my Robux at all anymore you just sit there so I decided to, you know, I decided I was thinking of buying one but then I realized so I started, started searching on Discord for people that wanted SP resets and then I was typing, I was typing, I was typing, I found nobody and everybody was declining my offers once again. So I was like, okay, but what is a good air fruit to start off with that I really need to start off as a good base? So I was thinking, I first decided to go for Pika, you know, I didn't, I did not know what I was thinking. I decided to go for a very, very high valid item, a uh, fruit, I mean, and I told them, I'll give you my Cupid's wings along with uh, two uh, stats resets along with a uh, hoverboard and people were rejecting me, rejecting me, rejecting me constantly and I was like, man, and then finally I realized like that's too high value. I don't know why I'm sending this, you know, uh, low balls to everybody. So I said, uh, okay, let's just take it, a, you know, a bit a notch. You know, let's take, let's push it down a notch. And uh, what I did was I decided to go for sushi, the gravity fruit. And I found a person, and actually this person was pretty nice, and we got it through. And as you can see, I finally got to trade with them. And as a whole, the trade was very smooth. But a problem happened where I realized I did I forgot to buy the SP resets and I only had a dark root in my inventory which I forgot about. So I decided to pair it in with a hoverboard and a, you know the Cupid Swings. I don't know if that's actually the name, Cupid Clean Swings, whatever it's called, okay I don't know, do not the name. And so I sent it the trade and it seemed we went successful and I got the sushi. But I'm, in my eyes, I'm wondering, did I do a, a good trade here? Did I mess up? Did I give too much for sushi? And even so, is that big of a deal? I mean, I could always get back my um, Cupid Queen Swings. It just take a couple of dungeons. And even so, it was dropping in value anyway. I'm not a trading expert, by the way, so I don't know. Maybe this was a horrendous trade, so tell me in the comments if this is the worst trade you've ever seen. I just went off instinct. I was thinking sushi is a super high valued fruit in my eyes at least and um, maybe I overpaid, maybe I, I, I got a W, I don't know. So um, next part I'll be making, I'll be going from sushi to, you know, until I get whatever and hopefully we can get Tori within at least three parts. Hopefully I can make it short. I don't want to go to like 10 parts without getting the actual dairy fruit. And uh, as for everything, if you are wanting to see part two a lot quicker, because this takes time, and um, make sure to like the video as well. And also check out my video I made yesterday on the rumbling. 